All right, Othello, Act Four. Here we go. Everybody ready? Oh, yeah. uh, will you take those and what? Did they not offer a kiss? Or did you make it with a friend in bed an hour or more not meeting any arms? Naked in bed, Yago, and not meeting any arms? It's talking to the devil that they need virtue and they do something. Say nothing. It's a convenient place. They're trying to give my wife a chance. Why then? Why then? Because her mother wouldn't be her. Yeah. She didn't protect us at her honor, too. Did she get that? By heaven, I would most gladly have forgotten. Thou saidest, Oh, it comes over my memory and stuff the way before the infectious house owing to all. He had my handkerchief. I would have it. That's not so good now. What if I had said I had hate to hate him? Or heard him say as names he slept abroad, who having their own important suits for voluntary voting to some mistress, convinced for supply them to not choose. But they must laugh. Happy saying, happy said, anything? You have, my lord, but you do all the no more than the last question. What happens then? Faith that he did, I know not which. What? What? By. With her? With her. On her. Woo! Yeah. Why? Right? Why on her? We say lie in her where they the liar. Why with her? Now, that's foul some. Handkerchief, confession, handkerchief, they confess and be hanged for his labor. First to be hanged and then to confess, I tremble at it. Nature would not invest herself in such shadowy passion without some instruction. It is not words that shape me thus, okay. No, to the ears and lips. Is it possible to confess the handkerchief? Oh, devil. All right, so significantly fall into a trance, which is Shakespeare's stage direction. Will you with us there? Sorry, yeah, that's your way, right? So it's significant that there's stage direction there that he falls into a trance. So don't forget about that part. All right, so Iago is essentially talking to himself here because Othello is apparently kind of passed out. We're gone, I met and work. Thus, credulous fools are caught in many worthy and chaste dames, even thus. Oh, guiltless be What ho, my lord, my lord, I say Othello. All right, so the medicine is kind of questionable. Like, is it the medicine, like, <laughs> Physically, he actually just drugged a fellow, or is it just his plot that he's referencing? Let the medicine work on because he definitely set this plot into motion. It's kind of up to the director how they want to run with that, but it's significant that a fellow has passed out here. All right, so here comes Cassio. Sorry. Go ahead, Cassio. What's the matter? My lord has fallen into an epilepsy. Epilepsy. Sorry. This is the second phase. He had one yesterday. All right, so he does apparently have some legit medical affliction because he had a headache yesterday as well. And now he's apparently passed out like with an epileptic seizure, I guess. No, for the lethargy must be quiet, of course. Not to foam them out to by and by break out the static masses. Look, he starts. You withdraw yourself a little while, you'll recover straight. When he's gone, I would on great feet. How, uh, how in the general? Have, have you not hurt your head? Dost thou mock me? I mock you not, by heaven. Would you, would you would rock, bear your fortunes like a man? A horned man's a monster and a beast. There's many a beast that in a popular city, many a civil monster. Did he confess it? Good sir, be a man. Take every bearded fellow that's the deal. You may draw with me. There's millions that will lie, and nightly lie in those some proper beds, which they dare stir to produce. Your case is better. Oh, to the spite of hell that he and Ark are among the little one that he hears about, and spoke and supposed her chance. Now, no, let me know, and know what I am. I know what you told me. Oh, thou art wise, yes, sir. Stand you a while. Confine yourself with an impatient prince. Whilst you were here overwhelmed with your grief, a passion most of suiting to the man, fancy of him, I took the devil away, and laid good excuses upon your head. Bade him anon, bade him anon, return, and spoke, and here speak with me, to which he promised. Do but in case, and mark the clear, the guise, and the notable sport that dwell in every region of his face. For all they can call the tale of Jesus, where, how, how often, how long, and what he has, and it is again to hold your life. I say, but mark his chest. Mary, patience, or like, Mary, patience, or I shall say, you, you are old. You are old, you are old and old and clean and nice. Dog, 
just down here, Yako. I will leave that most coming in my case, but just down here, most. All right, so in the meantime, he says, I'm going to drop him back. I'm going to get him to tell us all the times he's been with your wife, right? And Othello is supposed to listen in and overhear the whole thing. So he's going to try to coax a confession out of cash. Put that away now. We're doing this. All the way. Close it up. Thank you. All right. <coughs> all right, so Othello withdraws behind like a curtain kind of thing. Well, that's coming up to, to overhear the whole thing. That's not a myth, but yet keep time and all. Will you withdraw? Now, will I question Castro Bianca? Right? So he's going to ask him about Bianca, not about Desdemona. Because he knows he's been hooking up with Bianca. Right? So he's going to get him to brag about all the times he's been with Bianca and kind of leave that name out somehow so that Othello thinks he's talking about his wife. Okay. A husband that by telling her tired and buys herself a friend. Right, so apparently she sells her desires. She's basically a prostitute, okay? Um, maybe not legit, but she's counting on Othello for money. Or sorry, not, not uh, on Cassio for money just to live. Yeah. Um, Hold on one sec. Cass He's going to ask Cassio about Bianca and get him to do like lock, locker room talk about getting with Bianca. But he's going to kind of leave the name out so that Othello thinks that he's talking about. So Othello's not there with him. He's standing behind the curtain oh, over, okay. overhearing all of it. Yeah. yeah. OK? It is a creature that knows on Cassio as his trumpet play that we do many and maybe feel by one. He, when he hears her, not restrained, may confess laughter. Here he comes. As he shall smile, Othello shall go mad. If he's on book shelves, he must confess. He must confess. Concert. Concert. Poor Cassio smiles. Jester is the light behavior. Quite the wrong. How do you now, Jen? The word for that you give me is dishes. Who's what? He is so good. Slide is not a well, and you, with your aunt, speak lower. All right, so speaking lower means that it's only meant for Michael Cassio to hear, not for a fellow behind the curtain to hear. Now, this suit lay in Bianca's power. How quickly can you see? Oh, wow. Poor Peter. Look how he laughs already. I never knew women who love man so. Oh, wow. Poor Rose. I think it's safe to be loving now. And I think he laughs it out. You hear, Cassio? Now he is the two minutes of Go to well said, well said. She gives it out that you shall marry her. You intended it? Ha 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 ha. Are you trying? You try and probe it. All right, so Othello's just losing his mind. There's Michael Cassio supposedly laughing at the idea that he would ever marry Desdemona, even though he's been hooking up with her, which he hasn't. He's been hooking up with Bianca. He's laughing at the idea of ever marrying Bianca because she's just a prostitute and he's not going to marry her. I marry her? What a customer of creepy ears and curious my wit. Do not think it's so unwholesome. Ha ha ha. And I must take off work. There, give it 
your hobby horse. First, whoever you had it. I'll take out no work on it. All right, so imagine Othello overhearing this. Here, Bianca is throwing the handkerchief that he gave to Desdemona back into Michael's face, saying, I'm not going to have this. You got this from some whore that you've been sleeping with. Oh, my God. Right? And so this is absolutely, in his mind, proof that Michael Cassio is hooking up with his wife. How now, my sweet Bianca? How now? How now? By heaven, that should be my handkerchief. <laughs> And you'll come to supper tonight, you may, and you will not come when you are next prepared for it. After grass? Faith, I must do real this week, though. Will we shut there? Faith, I intend to. Well, I may try to see you, for I would very pain to you. Could you tell me, will you? Go to, say no. How shall I further him, Yago? <laughs> do you perceive how he laughs with his eyes? Oh, Yago. Did you see the name? Was that mine? Yours by this hand. You see how he prizes the bullet woman your wife. She gave it him, and he has given it to the floor. I would have denied you a killing, a fine woman, a fair woman, a sweet woman. Hey, you must be that ass. I let her rot and perish and be damned tonight, for she shall not live. No, my heart is turned to stone. I strike it and hurt my hand. Oh, the world has not a sweeter creature. She might lie if I had ever decided to remain the past. No, that's not your way. Hang her. I do but say what she is, so delicate with her needles and her condition. Oh, she will sink with savageness out of a bear of so high and plenteous wind that I should know. He's the worst for all this. Oh, a thousand, a thousand times, and then I'm so gentle of condition. Aye, uh, he Nay, that's certain. Forget the pity of it, Yago. Oh, Yago, the pity of it, Yago. If you are so fond of over her in I will chop her into messes. Cuckold me. Right, so cuckold means that she's made a couple of him because she's cheated on him. The cuckold is a, a foreign reference. Oh, foul in her. With my officer? That fowler. Yeah, even worse. He's your officer. Get me some poison, Yago. This night, I will not exfoliate exfoli her. Bless your body and do you unprovide my mind again. This night, Yago. You would not look for it. Spread over her bed. Even the bed she has contaminated. Right? Yeah, don't just cop out with poison. Strangle her to death in the very bed where she's been cheating on you. Good, good. The justice of the queen is very good. <laughs> <laughs> and for Cassio, let me be a the painter. You shall hear more about it then. Excellent. Excellent. What trumpet is that saying? I want something for this. All right, so we've got a bunch of people coming in here with Desdemona and her attendants. Um, we don't, we haven't met Ladovico. Ladovico? He's a kinsman to Brabantio. They're Venetians, okay? So, like a nobleman from Venice. We want to be Ladovico? Ladovico? Ladovico. Ladovico. There you go. We got it. This is Ladovico. This comes to the new. See your wife's work. God save you, worthy really general. With all my heart, sir. The Duke and the Senators of Venice greet you. I kiss, I kiss the instrument of their pleasures. And what's the news to come from the world? I'm very happy to see you. Welcome to the country. I beg you, how does the Senate practice you? Cousin, we saw the Queen and the Lord, and I'm kind of back. But you shall make all well. Are you sure of that? My Lord. This very <laughs> He did not call as he's busy with the paper. Is, is there a is, is there division with my Lord and Cassio? The most unhappy then. I would do much to atone them for the love I bear to Cassio. Fire and verse. <laughs> <laughs> my lord. Are you wise? What? Is he angry? May be the letter move him. For I say, they who command in home, deputing, deputing, Cassio and his government. By my chop, I'm glad. Indeed. My lord. I'm glad to see you, man. Why see the fellow? Yeah. Answer. Answer. Oh, oh. okay. I have not deserved this. My lord, this should not be believed in Venice, though I swear I saw it. Tis very much make her amends she weeps. Oh, devil. Devil, if that earth could 
good team of balloons here. Each strategy involves a group of crocodile out of my sight. Mm -hmm. Reference to crocodile tears, fake ones. I will not stay to offend you. Truly, an obedient lady. So you. Oh, I do beseech your lordship. Call her back. Mistress. My lord. What what would you do with her, sir? Who? I, my lord? I. You did wish that I would make her turn. So she can turn and turn and yet go on and turn again. And she can weep, so weep. And she's obedient, as you say. Obedient. Very obedient. Proceed you with your tears concerning this, sir. Oh, well painted passion. I am commanded home. Get you away. I'll send for you. I'll send for you and um, sir, I obey the mandate, and I will return to Ben's, hence a bond. What does that tell you? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Desdemona steps out. And so, yeah. Cassio shall have my place, and sir, tonight I do entreat that we may sup. We may have dinner. You are welcome, sir, to Cyprus, goats and monkeys. All right, so <laughs> apparently he's been called back, and Cassio is supposed to take over in his place. Is this the noble Moor whom our whole Senate call all in submission? Is this the nature whom passion could not shape? The solid virtue, the shot of accident, nor dart of chance to either graze or fear? Right, so this is definitely not holding up to what his reputation was. He was known as this powerful, amazing uh, general who was unshaken, unemotional, nerves of steel. And this is not the way he's acting. He has not changed. Are his, are his wits safe? Is he not light of brain? <laughs> if that he is, I may not breathe my censure. What he might be. What he might be. If what he might be. If what he might be. No, I'm sorry. What he have to do? All right. So, yeah, though, here he is confiding in somebody again, casting doubt now on Othello and whether or not he's in his right mind. What? Strike his wife? That would not so well, yet would I mean that stroke would prove the worst. Is it his use, or did the letters work out work upon his blood and new create this fault? Right, so is this how he usually acts, or is it something from the letter that caused him to behave that way? Alas, alas, it is not honest in me to speak, but I have seen and known. Indulge her him, and his own forces will denote him so that I may see my duplicate actors and mark how he yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to like incriminate him. Just watch him and see. I'm sorry that I'm deceived. All right, back to Othello. He's talking to Amelia. That is uh, Yaco's wife. You have seen nothing, then? No, I heard her. No, I heard her. Yes, you have seen Cassio and she together. But there is not a lot. You might have heard that um, they never. What? And they never whisper. Nor send you out, out of the way? Never. To, to fetch her fan, her gloves, her mask, nor nothing? Never, my lord. Yes. <coughs> my dear lord, she waits to shoot you. Lay down on my sword. If you think other time, remove the thought. If not, the beast you want. If any wretch has put this in your head, let us put it. Requite it, return, let him return it. Requite it, um, uh, with the beast. For if she is not honest, chaste, there is no man happy. The fierce of your wife is found. Bid her come hither. Go. She says enough. Yes, yeah, she's simple, Bob. I cannot say as much. That is a subtle, this is a subtle horror. A, cl a closer look, a closer lock and key of villain is secret. And yet she'll kneel and pray. I have seen her do this. Here comes Desdemona and Amelia. So Amelia has basically just been vouching for her. Like, I've never seen her do anything inappropriate. I've never left her alone with my Cassio. They've never been whispering together. So she's really solid backing up uh, Desdemona. Of course, she doesn't know anything at all about the whole plot and the handkerchief and what her husband is really set in motion. My lord, what is your will? Pray you, Chuck, come hither. What is your pleasure? Let me see your eyes. Look in my face. What horrible fancy is this? Some of your function, mistress. Meet procreants alone and shut the door. Cough or cry, can't if anybody cries. Your mistress, your mistress, dispatch. All right, so he wants private time with Desdemona to question her. Upon my knee, what doth your speech import? I understand it's hearing your words, but not the words. Why, what are they? Your 
wife, my lord, your true and loyal wife. Come, swear it, damn thyself, lest being like one of heaven, the devils themselves should fear to see thee. Therefore, he, therefore, be double man, swear thou art honest. Heaven doth truly know it. Heaven truly knows that thou art false as hell. To whom, my lord? With whom? How am I false? Ah, this is one Away, away, away. Alas, the heavy day, why do you weep? Am I the motive of these tears, my lord? If happily you, my father, do suspect any instrument of this your calling back, lay not your blame on me. If you have lost him, why, I've lost him too. Had it pleased heaven to try me with afflictions, had they rain all kinds of soys and shame on my bare head, stripped me in poverty of the very lips, given to captivity me and my utmost hopes. I should have found in some place of my soul its applications, but alas, namely the fixed figure of the time point, point a slow, unmoving finger at. Yet could I bear that too? Well, very well. But there, where I have burned up my heart, where either I must live or bear no life, the fountain from which my current runs without rise up to be discouraged thence, or keep it as a cessor for foul poets to not gem. Turn thy complexion there. Patience, thou young and broke, let the share with thine. I, fearless prince, how? I hope my noble lord esteems me honest. Oh, I, as summer fly, learn the shamble that quickened even the flowing. Oh, thou bee, who art so lovely, fair, and smells so sweet that the sense aches of thee, when thou hadst never been born. Alas, what ignorant sin have I committed? Was this fair paper, this most godly book, made to write, or upon us, what committed? Committed, O oh thou public confidence. <coughs> I should make very for you with my cheeks of to sin in front of modesty. Did I but speak thy deeds, what committed? Heaven stops to know that, and the moon wakes the body to kiss all of me. It's hushed with the power of mine, of earth, and will not hear it. What committed? By heaven, you do me wrong. Are you not a stumper? A strumpet that he's a whore. No, as I am a Christian. If to preserve this vessel for my lord from any other foul and lawful touch, be not to be a strumpet, I am none. What, not a whore? No, as I shall be saved. Is it possible? Oh, heaven forgive us! I cry you mercy, then. I took you for that cunning whore of Venice that married the foot of Bella. You mistress! So you, but Amelia comes in because she that, senses things are going south here. That have the opposite to St. Peter and keeps the gates of hell. You, you, I, you, we have done our course. There's money for your pain. I pray you turn the key and keep our counsel. Alas, what does this show? How do you know? How do you think my good lady? Faith, have sleep. What's the matter, my lord? With who? Why my lord? Who is thy lord? Peter and George. I have none. Do not talk to me, Amelia. I cannot make more answers I have none. But what should go by the water? Pretty tonight, lay on my bed my wedding sheet, remember, and call thy husband hither. Tis me I should be us so very me. How have I been behaved? He might stick the small pain in my least monsieur. All right, so she gives Amelia the direction, put on my wedding sheets tonight on the bed. Maybe she's got some kind of romantic, I'm going to try to save this marriage notion. Things are not looking so good. What is your pleasure, madam? How is it with you? I cannot tell. Those that do teach young babes, who have a gentle means of easy task. He might have a child. Should be, that means like, oh, me might have told me so. But in good faith, I am a child, should it? What is the matter, lady? Like? Can I that name, Yago? What name, Charlie? Such as she said, my lord didn't say I was. Why did you tell me? I do not know. I am sure I am none such. Do not leave. Do not leave. Alas, we did it is my wretched fortune. The shrewd of glory. How comes this turn upon it? Nay, heaven <laughs> doth know. Mm -hmm. um, 
All right, so it's it's some serious dramatic irony here, right? Amelia says, I'll be hanged if it's not some eternal villain, some busy insinuating rogue. That's her husband, right? It's her husband who did this, some cogging, cosming slave to get some office. It's exactly why he's doing it. He wants to be the lieutenant, right? That's why he put this whole thing in motion. Have not devised this slander. Somebody has set these lies in motion about her, trying to promote himself in some kind of way. I'll be hanged else. She totally swears that Desdemona is pure and innocent and she's been wrongfully accused. Uh, uh, five. Five. There's no such man. It is impossible. Right? And he knows full well he is the man. He's the one who did all this. If any such there be, have in pardon him. Uh, I'll have to pardon him. I'll have to pardon him. And how long? Notorious. Very well. I tell you, which is not very well. I will make myself known to those 
if she will return to my jewels, I will order my suit to attend my unlawful son. Solicitation. Solicitation. If not, assure yourself I will speak, I will seek satisfaction. All right, so it's kind of a big plot twist here. If Rodrigo really does go to Desdemona and say, okay, game over, I'm out. Just give me back my jewel. I'm not going to pursue you anymore. I'm just going to go about my way. If he does that, then he's going to know that Desdemona never got those jewels, and that's going to all backfire on Yano, mm -hmm. right? So you can't really allow Rodrigo to actually have face time with Desdemona, right? You have said now. Hey, and said nothing, but I, what I protest is intended to do it. Well, I now I see there's meddling me, and he even comes to the you build on me a better opinion than ever before. Give me that hand, Rodrigo. Now I'll sing it against me a most just accept. We get it for some time, and don't lose first than I. It had not appeared. I grant to me it had not appeared, and your suspicion is not without wit and judgment. But Rodrigo, if that happens to me and me, since I have greater reason to believe now than ever, I make the purpose, courage, and valor, to stake no witch. If thou the night, the next night following in joy, not of this Luna, take me from this world of treachery and devise engines for my life. Alright, so one more night. Okay, if you don't get to be with Desdemona after tonight, okay, then you can devise engines against my life. You can plot to kill me. But give me one more night. Well, what is it? Is it within reason and compass? Sir, the federal commission come from Venice to scoop Cassio and Othello's place. Is that true? When Othello and Desdemona are returning to Venice? Oh no, he goes into Mauritania. Mauritania and taketh away with him to Paris, Mona. Unless his abode be labored through my marriage. Or none can be so determined as a removing of Cassio. Oh, so if we get rid of Cassio, Othello won't be able to leave and take your sweet Desdemona with him. So all we need to do is kill Cassio, and then Othello will have to stay, and so will Desdemona. Pretty convenient for Iago to get rid of uh, for Iago to get rid of Michael Cassio by making Rodrigo do it. And that you would have me do. Wait, what line am I on? Uh, oh, how do you mean revoke? Well, I'm making him unacceptable in the fellow's place, knocking on his brains. <laughs> and that you would have me to do? I, if you dare do yourself a prop and her rights, be up to name with the harlotries, and thither will I go to. He knows not yet his honor for fortune. If you would watch if you would watch his going thence, which I will fact and fall out between twelve and one, you may take him at your place. I will be here to your attempt, and you shall fall with me. Come, stand on me, I at it, but go along with me. I will show you such a necessity in his death that you shall think here that you shall think yourself bound to put it on. Put, put it on. It is now high for time, and the night grows to late. About it. I will hear further reasons. And you shall be satisfied. So no problem. I can convince you. You need to kill Michael Capio tonight. All right, back to Ladovico. La La I do beseech you, sir. Trouble yourself no further. Oh, pardon me. So do me good to walk. Madam, good night. I humbly thank you, your ladyship. Your Honor, it's most welcome. We walk, sir. Oh, Desdemona. My lord. Get you to bed on the instant. I will be, I will be returning forthwith. Dismiss your attendant there. Look, he done. Right, so he wants to be alone, no attendant in the room. She thinks hot romantic, wedding sheets on the bed. And he's thinking, I'm gonna kill you in that bed, right? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. I will, my lord. How goes it now? Who's stupid today? The steps it will turn in contact. When half the man me to bed and bid me to dismiss you, excuse me. It was forbidden. Therefore, good Amelia, give me my nightly wearing and a Jew. We must not now displease him. Okay, it would mean I wish. I wish you'd never even seen him. Amelia's got a bad feeling. So would not I. My dog, my love dog, so approve him. And even the stubbornness, his cheeks are crowned with pretty young things, have grace and favor in them. I believe there was just favor in the bed. All is one. Good faith, how foolish are our minds. If I do die before he pretty shroud me in one of these same sheets. What a horrible thing to say. 
right? If I die before you, perhaps my shroud, my death blanket, I want it to be one of these sheets. Will you make sure you take care of that for me? Seems like an odd thing to say, especially since we know that uh, kids get ready to kill her. So on top of those sheets. My mother had a maid called Barberry. She was in love and since she loved to mad and did forsake her. She had a son of Willow. An old thing was that it expressed her fortune and she died in the year. That song tonight will not go through my mind. I have much to do, but to go hang my head all at one side and see it like poor Barberry. It's pretty dispatched. All right, so some serious foreshadowing there. She's she's thinking she's got the song stuck in her head, which reminds her of another uh, couple that was in love and the man went crazy, right? Um, so definitely some weird stuff going through her head right now. Desdemona? Oh, sorry, Amelia. No, I'm doing here. This Lodovico is the proper name. He speaks well. I know, the poor soul sat sighing by a sycamore tree, sing all the green willow. Her hand on her bosom, her head on her knee, sing willow, willow, willow. The fresh streams ran by her and murmuring her moan, sing willow, willow, willow. Her salt tears fell from her and softened the stone, sing willow. Lay by these, willow, willow. Free thee, king of thee. Hi, thee, that means go. Oh, hi, thee. He'll come and on. Think all a green willow must be my garland. Let nobody blame him. I sworn I approve. Nay, that's not next. <coughs> Who said not? I call my love false love. But what said he then? Sing willow, willow, willow. If I court no women, you'll couch with no men. So get thee gone, good night. Mine eyes do itch. Got that bow weeping? To see the fear of her there. My heard said so. Oh, these men, these men. Dost thou in conscience, conscience think? Tell me, Amelia, could there be women to abuse their husbands in such a time? But right, she can't even fathom that there are women who actually cheat on their husbands. She's like, do you think so? That there really are women that cheat on their husbands? Um, there be some no question. Would, would, Thou do such a deed for all the world? Why was not you? No, by this heavenly light. Nor I do but to do it. I might do as well I in the dark, right? So Amelia. <laughs> kind of dirty talk, right? She's like, no, I wouldn't do it in this light, but I might do it in the dark. Which, you know my husband. Thou do such a deed for all the world? Um, what do you say? Is it in the great price for soul? <laughs> so granted, she's got a husband who calls her a whore in the street. So it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of love there. But she's like, you know, the world's pretty big, you know. There might be a price I would do it for. The truck, I think that was not. I think I should. Um Mary would not I just we just need to finish this up right now. Can I? We're not doing it today. Okay. Yeah. You want to just bring it up here and then I'll touch base. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go. Sounds great. And then Barry will be the guy that's on his own. Barry. Okay. Yep. We ordered a mount too. So I'm going to check that team as well. Oh, but we did order one. Okay. Uh, he's not in today. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, so I think we're in the middle of Amelia, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Miriam, not the sister, nor for measures for long, nor for gowns, nor for the But for all the world, for all the whole world, these who would not be proud of this world take I should venture with words. He sure me if I would do such a wrong for the whole world. Why the wrong is for the wrong the world. And having the world for your neighbor, such a wrong is no world. You might think you make it right. Alright, so she's like, yeah, you can always just ask for forgiveness after that's the whole purgatory thing. Yeah, you know, I'll do a little time purgatory if it means I get the whole world. I mean, really, like the whole world? That's 
maybe reason to cheat on your husband. But Desdemona is like, no, 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 I would never do it. Um, she's very pure in heart. I do not think there is any such woman. Yes. How many times did you just swear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.